Before I get started with this story, let me give a shout out to GamerG for sending me the story on the Discord. And this is a very interesting story right here. And it's probably one of the last things I thought I would talk about. And that's involving the store Lowe's. Now, we've always known that Wally World always gets a bad rap for some issues. You know, Wally World tends to attract a certain element at times. But Lowe's, at least Lowe's in the Oregon area, in the state of Oregon, has a bit of a dilemma right here. Um, you have a lot of people that have uh, sticky fingers, as they used to call it back in the day. But they're being very blatant with it. And it, the weirdest part, it seems like it's happening on a continuous basis and nothing's being done about it. And it's crazy because it's like, how in the world do you just walk out of a store like Lowe's with all of this merchandise? But I'm going to go ahead and get into this article that's coming from uh, MSN. Videos of shoplifters stealing thousands of dollars worth of electrical wires from a low store in Oregon has angered local residents. It was so blatant, that's what riled me up. Kaiser, Oregon resident Andrew Sullivan, who filmed the incident, told the Kaiser Times. They were just strolling through the parking lot, just riding the carts. The incident unfolded in broad daylight on August 25th with video showing two men pushing shopping carts loaded with electrical wire walking out of the Lowe's doors as two employees are helpless to stop them. A Lowe's employee standing at the door asked the men to show their receipt as they approached, but they kept moving. Another Lowe's employee is, went, is then seen approaching the men in the video to which the first employee said, hey, don't do this. It's not worth it. I think these guys have done it before because they seem to have a good system. One guy with the car and two guys with the carts. They knew no one was going to touch them, said, Tull said Sullivan, who also recorded the men loading a red Subaru with the merchandise. Many commenters on the video expressed outrage and wondered if local police would investigate the situation. Lowe's eventually reported the incident and an investigation is ongoing, but Kaiser Police Lieutenant Andrew Copeland noted that in Oregon, <coughs> excuse me, Many jails aren't taking offenders such as shoplifters in order to cut back on their populations during WUVIT 19. So they're basically almost, it sounds like to me, like they're just allowing people to go into the store, take from it, and just leave. I'm like, you do realize that the store gets a certain inventory of product that has to be sold. And if the money is not, if it's, it's not adding up, then that hurts store profits. And it's not like they don't see them doing it. Like they said, they can actually see the people walking out the store and nobody's stopping them. So you're basically having an open door policy and a five figure discount for anybody that can come through there. Copeland said the men would likely face fines, citations, and then be released. Once you've stolen from Lowe's once and know they can't stop you, there's no real consequence. Coatland said, noting employees at many chain stores aren't allowed to stop shoplifters. Second thing is these people know they can't go to jail. Sullivan, who is an electrician in Copeland, valued the merchandise at about $2,000. Copeland said the suspects would likely strip the Romix, the Romix wire for its valuable copper inside. Shoplifting incidents have been cropping up across the country in recent months, most notably in California. In one instance this summer, two men in a Los Angeles suburb were seen on camera brazenly leaving a TJ Maxx store with their arms full of shoplifted items. They didn't even run out. They walked out, Los Angeles Police Department Sergeant Jaretta Sandoz said and told CBS LA of the incident in July. And so that's sending a message that we, the criminals, are winning. Employees at TJ Maxx are told not to confront shoplifters, and Sandoz says she blamed the incident on Prop 47, a 2014 referendum that lowered criminal sentences on crimes such as shoplifting. If they are caught, they're probably going to be given equivalent of a traffic ticket, she told CBS LA, so it's not taken seriously. That's crazy, but that doesn't surprise me coming from California because you know California is the quote-unquote most liberal state. After all, they still have SB 132 as a bill. I will never not mention that bill when it comes to the state of California, depending on the circumstances of the topic of which I'm discussing. But back to this, that's wild. That means they, they can just literally walk into the store, take what they want and leave and no one can do anything to them. And the most they'll get is a slap on the wrist. <clears throat> So we have this happening in Oregon and then they mention California. And as you know, Oregon is just a state above California. So it makes you wonder what other places this is happening at right now that's not being reported. And they blamed it on Wovit 19. 
Now, let's hypothetically go with that for a second. Imagine that's what the actual case is. Not saying that it is or it isn't, but let's just say that it is. Do you know what that's going to send as a message to other jails around the, the establishment when it comes to shoplifters? That you can just do and sh- you can just take from the store and nothing will happen to you. As long as you act within the confines of you just shoplifting. If you don't put any lights in danger, we can't do nothing to you. And I notice a lot of these stores don't really have a lot of security like that. But what I do notice is if you go to a lot of stores like these, that's in, say, I don't know, more urban areas. We'll say it like that. They'll beef up security for that. But they don't have it like that in a lot of these suburban areas. And that's by design because, you know, they always th- they always uh, uh, lean crime towards us. But places like this, as far as location, these are mainly PC enclaves for the most part. <clears throat> and look and look at what they're doing. They said they walked out with about two thousand dollars worth of items. That's two thousand dollars that this Lowe's store lost. Just in a swipe. That's crazy. The people who own, who are over Lowe's, like who owns Lowe's, they have to do something. Something would have to be done because they're, they're, this location is going to lose money. And they might lose business because no one's going to want to go there because like if they're, you're just going to let them steal, I'm going to just go take my business elsewhere where they can actually do something. And I can understand the part about them saying we don't want to have the customers try to stop them because they know the customer's lives can be in danger because at the end of the day, and not the customer, the um the employees, because at the end of the day, the employee, they're not security. They're not armed. They don't have a taser, a gun, or anything that can stop a criminal because that criminal might have something on them and they may do harm to them. So to keep them safe, they say, just don't interfere. But then on the flip side, it's like you don't interfere and they're just going to walk out with your merchandise and you've lost money. And then, you know, nothing's going to happen to them anyway. So they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, basically. But I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments.